that's based on the Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. But yet, nevertheless, it's Christ who lives in me. King of my life, I crown thee now. Thine shall the glory be, lest I forget thy thorn-crowned brow. Lead me to Calvary. Show me the tomb where thou wast laid, tenderly mourned and wept. Angels in robe of light arrayed, guarded thee while thou slept. Let me, like Mary, through the gloom, come with a gift to thee. Show to me now the empty tomb, lead me to Calvary. May I be willing, Lord, to bear daily my cross for thee, even thy cup of grief to share. Thou hast borne all for me, lest I forget Gethsemane, lest I forget thine agony, lest I forget thy love for me, lead me to Calvary. Happy Wednesday, April 13th. I hope you're waking up to the Lord's grace and his strength and realization of his loving kindness once more when we don't deserve it. We are in Jeremiah 30, and I know some people are like, you know, how can something be extracted about Christ, the Holy Week in the Old Testament? But, oh yes, yes. In verse 19 and 20, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as aforetime and their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. Verse 21, and their nobles shall be of themselves and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them and i will cause him to draw near and he shall approach unto me for who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me saith the lord and ye shall be my people and i will be your god it is because of what jesus did on the cross he is our ultimate reconciliator he is the one who is a propitiation of our sins he paid it all and we cannot forget the ultimate price that he paid for our freedom so that we can live abundantly, victoriously, and in a wondrous way every day. Because of today's date, we would have gone to Psalms 13 and 43 and 73 and 103 and 133 and Psalms 13. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart today shall rejoice in thy salvation. That's because the Lord has saved us from a life of woe and misery and pain and darkness. And he has let us have relationship. It's because it's not us who's living, but it's the Christ now that lives in us. And now we can sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with us. And we talked about the might of the Lord. We can't do anything with our puny strength. It is God who gives us the ability to get up in the morning and to face another day. And we thank him and we praise him in Psalms 43. For thou art the God of my strength in verse 2. So again, we would ask ourselves the question today at the end of this verse. Why are you cast down? Why do you feel discouraged? Why do you feel that, that this is hopeless, this situation? Hope in God, for you shall yet praise him. He is the health of your countenance and your God. And we know that that is one of the many benefits of glorifying the Lord, having relationship. He healeth all our diseases. That's why we'll bless the Lord and all that is within us. We'll continue to bless his holy name in Psalms 103. He has forgiveth all thine iniquities and he redeemeth our life. He has rescued our life from destruction. He has crowned us with loving kindness and tender mercies. And he satisfies every day our mouth, our heart, our being with good things so that thy youth is renewed like an eagle. So this is the reason why we are contemplating and we are mindful this week of what the Lord Christ Jesus did on the cross so that we can experience this abundance and all the advantages and benefits every day. Thank you, Father, that we do not take your gift of life lightly. Oh God, we thank you, Lord, that we can be mindful and Lord, we can stand behind the cross, Father, for the rest of our lives, Father, and you will be displayed in our life. So Father, have your way. 
Lord, we are crucified and now, nevertheless, you live in us and through us. So have your way in our lives. Guide us, direct us, and you get the glory forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.